just walked the gangplank to get to this boat. Yeah. And there are hundreds of people out there loving what we do. You've come in search of the secret lost vault of Pandora. In Borderlands, everyone brings their own special skill to the squad. What's one hidden talent or special skill from your co-star here? Kevin showed up, you know, it's one thing to show up and think like, okay, I can just learn a little bit about this. Kevin, how many months before? About like four. Like four months before, started working with... Special ops and hand combat, weapons training. I had a bag. Had it. I had stuff no, in my bag. He had, but I mean, you know, it looks like a crazy video game movie, but the truth is these people worked out every day and Kevin showed up in a very serious way for a movie that's not particularly serious. Very serious. How are we gonna get through this? Kevin, what'd you see in Jamie? Jamie's very much a leader, right? She's someone that's been in this business for a long time and we all follow Jamie's lead. It was very dope. Well, she was on set. People got treats, people got cakes, people got snacks, people got joy, people got call outs from Jamie. She knew everyone's names when I'm in the- Name movie. tags. Name tags. I make everybody wear name tags for Cute. the first two weeks. They know our name, we don't know theirs. And you know, it's a collaborative art form. It's hundreds and hundreds of people coming together, not unlike even what we're doing up here. Jamie, where'd you learn to run a set like that? Well, you know, I was raised by Janet Lee. My mother came from nothing. My mother lived in a garage before she became a movie star and never forgot it. And so I do think my mother instilled in me a sense that how lucky we are. I just walked the gangplank to get to this boat. <laughs> and there are hundreds of people out there loving what we do. How is that not something to make you go, wow, what, how the heck did we end up here? Thank you for the cookies. I mean, first of all, you're talking about two of the most talented people in the world. Both of them are trained fighters. Florian was a real, you know, professional boxer, and you trained as a boxer for Manos de Piedra. So these guys can really fight. You don't want to get on the wrong side of them, but they are two of the sweetest, softest guys you'll ever meet. I don't mean they're not tough. I just mean they have the biggest hearts in the world. And Florian, the emotion that he gives with just a mask on, you can't believe. And Edgar, for being the nicest guy, it's amazing how well he just turns so evil in two seconds. It's incredible. Kill them all. Nobody kills me but me! Kevin, this movie has an amazing cast. What's one of your favorite past roles of one of your co-stars? I would go to Trading Places. I know why you would go to Trading Places, Kevin Hart. Well, no, I'm not going There are two that. reasons. Well, no, no. I was honestly saying the legend of Eddie and Dan, Jane, yeah, and Eddie. she did an amazing <laughs> job carrying her own and just showing why she is who she is. Yeah? Well, I don't take credit cards. Jamie Lee Curtis is definitely a name that rings bells and will forever. Legendary. That's Same very thing with nice. Kate. You can go to the same well, thing. She's a woman that, that has accolades on accolades on accolades. So I, I will say this about Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett was kicking ass in Pandora, and when we would take breaks during the day, she would be sitting in a director's chair like this, with the earphones on. Oh yes, yes, she was practicing. Because before. she left Budapest and went yeah. straight to Berlin and made Tar. That's that's the there it is a lot of pressure okay what's the video game you've logged the most hours playing i spent the first probably 12 or 13 years addicted to atari because i'm old so i played adventure and i wanted to find every hidden secret code, anything the programmers had dropped in there. Very Ready Player One. I was born the same year as, as that character in Ernie Klein. So I was super obsessed with not just finding the game, but completely breaking it, get to that end board, trying to flip the game, trying to find all the hidden stuff in it. So as a director, you're definitely doing that. And that's why it's fun to load the movie with Easter eggs. A ladder! Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of... I, I relate to the Atari part of it, but then I... I, I think they ended it at Combat. Missile well, Command? Yeah, Missile Tempest? Command, yeah. exactly, yeah. I mean, the most games I played, this will sound so cliche, but those were sports games, you know? I treat the director as a coach because I have my sporting background. And that's what I want, you know? You want to trust your coach and you want your coach to have a vision. And I couldn't ask for a better director, so I appreciate everything. Thank you, and I couldn't ask for a better cast. The only thing I will say when you cast an athlete is make sure they don't box other people on the crew for fun off on a Friday yeah, night yeah, yeah, after I we know. wrapped. So I was like, I know. Going, what's this boxing match? Everyone's like, oh yeah, Florian and one of the crew members, they want to fight. And Florian's like, oh, I won't, I won't hurt him too badly. I'm like, 
Well, what, is this what we're doing now? Oh, I, I have to worry now. I have to worry about this too. Is is the cast <laughs> and no, even boxing each other like for real? Yeah. And he's like, but I'll be. It's light sparring, Eli. I go, yeah, a light punch from you. <laughs> it's gonna split my nose open, Florian. Feel free to applaud. <laughs>